Welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, this is the developer's hardcore mode. And we are on episode number six. So since the last episode, I did a couple of things. I got, got my trucks up here to the garage. And I went over and I fixed the roadblock where is it? over in here. And I also got the Chevy out and took it to the garage. And I uh, brought the P16 down. And it hauled the maintenance trailer down here. Didn't have any issues getting down here. Didn't take any damage. And I did have enough to fix up the Western Star. So that's where we're at right now. I did put, I believe I put some gas in it. No, I didn't. So we'll put 20 gallons in it. Let me make sure I did repair it. Yes, did repair it. And it left me with... How many was that? Uh, it left me with 360 repair points and a couple of tires. So I will be hauling this trailer back out of here. And before I do that, I am going to get the Western Star out of it. Which shouldn't be... Yeah. Shouldn't be all that difficult. Because it is fixed up. So it will be able to help me bring it, bring it out. I think it turned around here. And I did a few experiments. So I will show you the results once we get this truck out of here. Yeah. Can't drive through the tree line. Where you at? There you go. And start you up. And I cannot. Yeah, I can't change to it. So I can't put it in all wheel drive. Which actually, it doesn't have all wheel drive yet. I have picked up some of the upgrades. I still need a couple more upgrades to go. But I figured I'd go ahead and get it out of here. I really need a good truck. And on this map, this region, add that. And this is a good truck. That's just a good truck everywhere. Even though I believe they've nerfed it a little bit. Still one of my favorites. Damaging. Try not to damage anything. Damage is going to cost me money. Right now, I don't have a lot of that. Come on, you can do it. Now normally I try to take it up through there, but I believe I'm going to try to go this way since it is 
fully repaired. Which I know I can go up this way with the E12 and I'm able to pull it up through here. I'm not sure with this truck and I want to try it. And I know I'm going to have to winch through here. slide down from there. So I want to check my range on my winch. Okay, so I can still go up a little bit further. At least get it off those rocks. And let's take it out. There you go. And then we winch him up. Just made it. And I fully expect to take some damage. Past. And we're good. Yeah, that didn't work out quite like I had planned. Go off down the hill on me. So let's get you further. There we go. Not so bad. And I've got plenty of gas to make it back. I had thought about uh, jumping around some of the maps and collecting some of the trucks to bring them back here. And 
I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to bring a lot of trucks and gather them in one map just to have to move them back. So I'm thinking about just jumping over and grabbing one truck, maybe two, and then bringing those back here, and I should have enough vehicles to do anything I need. Still trying to decide which two to get. I would kind of like to jump over to Wisconsin and get one of those vehicles. I think they'd run pretty good here. And then I thought either the Tega or the BM-17. And I'm kind of leaning more toward the BM-17. Take it wouldn't be hard to get. The BM-17 is a little bit easier to get. It'll take a little bit longer, but... I think it would be... a little bit better to have. And then if I find I need something else, then... I can always go get another one. Alright, so I got my truck. So, a couple of things I discovered. First, we'll go to the Fleet Star. So, I wanted to check and see if you could sell trailers or not sell trailers. So, I've got a trailer hooked up, and if I go here, and I go down to, instead of sell, it just says destroy. Yeah, hang on. Idiot on a side-by-side. -side. Running as fast as he can down the road. Uh... But you can't sell them, you can destroy them, and I don't know why I'd want to destroy a trailer. So, getting rid of trailers is out. Even if I'm not going to use them. Uh, I guess I'm going to be hanging on to them. And I'll fuck later. So, the second... Uh, thing that I found out, we'll go into the garage, is, uh, let's try global map, uh, we'll actually do that one in a minute, uh, before we do this, uh, you can retain vehicles, so I retain it, and it's no longer here, and if I Deploy it from the same garage, it doesn't cost me anything. If I deploy it from a different garage, it costs a thousand. So I'm going to retain this because I did find out that, yes, you still can sell, but you're getting half price. And though this one is all beat up and banged up, it's still half price of a new one. So I'm going to do that. Sell that one, and I'm going to sell. Wait a minute. Let me look at the Chevy. 11,000. And. So, yeah, I did put a couple of. Bought a couple of upgrades on it. So, I do get a little extra money for that. So, we're going to. Well, I don't know if I want to sell the Chevy. Because I may deploy it to another region. Yeah, I do. Uh, we're going to sell it. Because that should give me enough money to purchase you. And I want my Lodestar back. Um, and I'm going with the bigger engine. Uh, because I think I need the bigger engine in this truck. It's going to be doing a lot of scouting. And I've got 9,000, so I'm going to need some. I uh, kind of want to wait on tires until I get the upgrade on the suspension because I don't want to have to buy tires twice. 
Uh, one thing, uh, let me look for my pickup chassis is twelve hundred dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. And now I've got it in case I need it for something, even though it's not completely ready. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that paint job. Alright, so even in this shape, it's still a very capable truck. But I will need to get the suspension upgrade before I buy tires. And now... Let's get you in here. Yeah, that's banged up. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, first I wanted to see, because it, yeah, see, it does not need repairs. So I'm wondering if I take it out of the garage, does it still look like it's beat up? It does. I guess the only time I can make it look nice is if I do the repairs. In the garage. And what I want to do is I want to see how much repairs would be if I just have a little bit of damage. There's five. So repairs. Wow. For five damage, it's going to cost me $2,500. Yeah, truck's just going to look beat up, beat up and banged up. Thought I got this engine. Oh, I used it for another truck. Okay. I will need that. And sell that one. Tires. Uh, when do I get rank 8. I'm still a little ways from that, so let's go ahead and do tires. Which one has the most grip? Uh, we'll go with the lower powers. It's 400 extra dollars, but I kind of like those better. And diff lock. Uh, can I get the wedge cap to Twelve, which I think is kind of crazy, and the engageable all-wheel drive. I have not gotten it yet. So let's go ahead and put a saddle low because you are going to be the one that handles. Man, that looks horrible. I don't know why I did that. I don't like that paint job. It's okay, it's just not me. Alright, you look bad, but you run good. And in the end, that's all that really matters. I may at some point fix it up. Do the body work. And I need to get the other upgrade. Because I'm getting ready to send this one on a mission for a fuel tanker. Uh, actually, let's just go ahead and take and I don't have to worry about extra fuel because I'm not going that far just going down here the other side of the uh, dam go down and get the upgrade and then we got to head back and start doing some of the other missions
Actually, I also need to get an upgrade up here that I can sell. Once I have enough, then I'm definitely going to head over to Alaska and I'm just going to go ahead and get the BM-17, get the Hummer, and get the upgrade for this truck. The Ray suspension. But I need to make sure I have enough money to get the vehicles deployed back. Easy. Yep, I'm going to remember to fill up those tanks before I do any other missions with it. So even like this, it still handles better than the Chevy, and a lot better than the International Scout. I don't have to worry about tipping it. But it does need tires. Come on, Comet. So the 4.4 I'm not going to use, but I'll go ahead and sell it. Once I have more money under my belt, I'll start treating the trucks a little more rough, accepting a few, a little more damage. Right now, I do not want to run into that impossible situation where you have to restart it. I think I'm pretty good. I can always end up selling a truck. You don't get squat out of them, but but some of the ones that I know I'm not going to need, I don't think is a big deal. And eventually, I may buy them back. Definitely going to have the lights from the top. It looks naked. No spotlights, no roller bars. All right, some upgrade is on the other side down the road. On that little point. Also, going to have to go down and get that maintenance truck. Bring it back. Also, oh, for a second, for a bit, I was thinking if I repaired everything with the maintenance trailer, maybe we'll fix body work. But it won't because I did use a maintenance trailer to repair the. Western Star and the body works still looks like crap. And now that I think about it, I might want to just leave it like that and see how banged up I can make it look.
So if I remember correctly, this one. Yep. Yeah, definitely need suspension. And a bigger tire so will help. Right now I don't want to waste the money because I plan on heading for the upgrade and the BM17 fairly quickly. Uh, engage ball wheel drive for the White Western State. I do have another upgrade. Yep, upgrade up there. But it's not for the Western Star. So I'm not really worried about it. Plus I have the uh, Chevy pickup sitting over on the island area. Getting ready to do some missions over there. And pick up the other one. kind of wanted to go over and get the Hummer first and let the Hummer do those missions. I've never done those missions with the Hummer. Let's see how it does. I've never run the Hummer on this map. Or in this region. I'm also really going to have to think about if I want to run trailers on some of the other maps because they don't have trailers or they have very few. I know Alaska I'm going to need a big trailer but there is one over on shoot, forgot what it's called. Pedro Bay that I can go over and pick up. And I might as well get this mission while I'm at it. Pick them up as I see them. Alright, get you back and start running some of these missions. Build my money back up. Got a maintenance trailer on every map now. Uh, unfortunately, the one on this map does not have much left in it. I may end up having to buy another one. But I do believe it's cheaper to buy a trailer, use the repair points, than letting the garage fix you up. Though I did find out that each vehicle uh, requires different number of repairs. I don't know if that goes by category. Uh, or if it goes by the amount of repairs that the vehicle needs. But when I thought about repairing the international cab over, it was only 1500 to repair it, and it was totally broken. And 
customize you. With engageable all wheel drive. And it leaves me 4,000. Uh, I am going to splurge on lights. So that I can see. External horn. Don't really care about that. It's another 150 back. She does look pitiful. And as long as it runs good, I can deal with it. Alright, so the only thing I left have left over here is the Chevy, which is over there. And like I said, I think I want to get the Hummer to do these missions over here and open up these watchtowers. Just see how it does. So, let's get some go back. Hopefully without tearing them up too bad. And I've almost went through that fuel trailer. So I probably will have to go get another one. Get that fuel care. So we'll send the Fleet Star over with this truck. I don't need the trailer. So we'll leave it off, save a little bit of gas. Plus it'll slow me down a little bit. So it doesn't bang into the back of this one. But I'll do some uh, missions and then put the bigger engine on here. It's not too bad on fuel. Still not great, but it's not too bad. That doom buggy going by. Got my windows open because it's a little warm out. Starting to cool down and I like the breeze. Got 
Come on. Yeah, that's one thing you have to be careful with on this is pulling another vehicle. You know, because it's just stopping and cause you damage. Fleet Star does not seem like it's helping me out much. But I guess it is. I don't want to put it in all wheel drive. And we're not going very far. Because I am planning. Nope, I do have to take it all the way back. Uh, I'm going to put the crane and the flatbed on the GMC. And I guess I have to buy a crane for for the GMC and bring it back over here. So that I can load, well actually no. I just put a crane on this truck and with the semi-trailer I can load my own semi-trailer. Yeah, that'll be the way. Matter of fact, I may take the crane off of the Fleet Star and put it on this truck. Save me a tad bit of money. Ditch there. It's all about tires. I should think it might be faster to drive each one over individual. Which I think I'm going to do that. Make sure you're shut off. And I think I need to pick up a steel with the Fleet Star anyway. He's no. I have a trailer over here. No, I've already gotten it. And no other trailers in there.
careful around those. Go on. Most of the time they give me damage and I don't want damage. I've also got the Kodiak that I still have to get out. So that's another Ooh, Kodiak. All wheel drive upgrade for that. I'm going to have to pick it up. I think it's in Alaska. So when I do go to Alaska, I'm going to get. I'm going to try to do is get all of the upgrades. And I might as well get all of the vehicles that I can. So it's what, one, two, three vehicles, four vehicles, because I've got the Hummer, uh, the MK38. BM-17 and the Big Cat. Yeah, because I want to bring the Big Cat over here to help me with the well, actually the medium logs now. I can get a medium log carrier on the back of these trucks. So I won't have to buy a medium log trailer. That would be wasting my money. There's a medium log carrier on the back of a truck. I can always take it back off, and I still have it no matter what map I go to. Look at these missions. Uh, Husky forwarding the essentials. Two bricks, two wooden planks, and two fuel. So I know where to get the bricks and the wooden planks and the fuel. Uh, I could take this. Well, I could bring the two wooden. Mm. I'm trying to think. Super I can't do that. Pipe dreams. So I will need one metal beam delivered to the factory. Which is way over there. Along with two bricks. That is not going to show me where we're at yet, but they are. Uh, where are they at? Over in here. And then the heavy fuel semi trailer, get that over there, and that's $3,800. So that's money I can use. And I need lost container, I'll do that over there. Aid to the island, steel river supplies, consumables, and wood planks. How much money did I have? Let's go over here and find out. Uh, 4,200. I think that is not enough for a crane.
5700 for crane so i can't get that yet i'm gonna have to do some missions first So I'm going to need a steel, and we can bring that back with the Fleet Star. Should have enough gas. Anchors. Nice. Back it. Destroy crane. And we will get you back to the garage. Because I need to get some missions completed for the money and to get my level higher. So that I can buy some better tires. Still hate the steering in this truck. It's like you move a joystick, nothing happens, and all of a sudden it takes off. Kind of reminds me of the Con Marshal. I know you buy fuel tankers and they're empty, but maintenance trailers, how do you refill a maintenance truck? Still haven't worked that out yet, if you can refill one. more money I'll do some experimenting with the uh, load star see if I've got to get rid of the bed sell it and then buy a new one in order to replace the repair points or I might do that with the uh, International Scout. I think the roof rack's a little bit cheaper than the bed for the Lodestar. Which reminds me, I've got to add fuel to the International Scout because its fuel cans are empty. Uh, is there a manual way? 
manually weigh is there a way to manually uh, undeploy the crane without resetting it instantly with a push of a button uh, manually reset the crane yeah uh, I can take the crane here and I can activate the crane and then when I'm done you can restore the crane that's all you can do I mean there's not a a button to put the crane back without hitting restore crane and when you hit restore crane it actually restores the crane and the anchors but now the anchors you can activate independently turn them on turn them off and you can also if you wanted to if you're in crane mode uh, you can activate the anchors with the uh, pushing down the left joystick I don't do that I deploy them first because when you deploy the crane it leans the truck a little bit that way so I like to activate the anchors with the crane or with the truck sitting level and then when I deploy the crane it doesn't lean one way or the other most of the time so yeah is a button to just deploy it just to undeploy the crane no you have to uh, reset everything and driving through a service hub I don't know uh, there is no service hub that I can remember on this map or in this region other than when you go over to the island Le or uh, Smithfield Dam and you set up the service hub in the far left hand corner of the map and usually by the time you do that and you're heading out or usually when I'm heading out I don't have to go back that way again uh, that is something I can take a look at when I go over to get some trucks out of Alaska because there is one on Mountain River and I'm gonna have to drive through there to get supplies anyway and I can see if it auto fixes a truck like it normally does or if it uh, tells you it'll auto fix it for a price so that's one of the one of the reasons I want to go to Alaska get trucks other than some upgrades and getting some trucks that I need is to test that and see if that will refill the uh, repair points on like the GMC and I mean the uh, Chevy and the International and on the Lodestar so a lot of experimenting with this Try to figure stuff out. And let's detach you. Get you over here out of the way. I don't need you. Can't you up. And attach my trailer and let's go back over to Fleet Star. And I'm going to take that other cargo off. But I might as well load the steel on first because I want it above the wheels. In front of the trailer. Put a little more weight there and see if it will help it out. Got to pull the crank. So, for those that may not know, if you're going to get close to another vehicle or get close to cargo, you have to deploy the crane first. Because if I were to put this really close here and deploy the crane, it could flip the trailer over. Which is also why I deploy the crane before I loaded the steel up. Because 
deploying the crane then. Oh, shit. Talking, not paying attention. Uh, if I deployed the crane when I was in that little nook, it could possibly, well, it has tipped over the truck before. already impact. And start you up. And let's get rid of Uh, actually. So it's a bit awkward having it pop back in place when uh, undeploying while activating it. Just uh, slowly deploys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is kind of awkward. But one of the things that I really like that they have fixed is when you're at a loading area. Uh, it used to be if I was in a loading zone and I hit the X to manually put cargo up, it would automatically uh, deactivate the crane. Uh, it would put the crane back, it would restore it, but now you can have the crane out and you can load things, five or six different things, without having the crane actually restore itself. So I've been hollering that for that since day one. And now we have that. So, slowly they are changing the way they're doing things, making the game better. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I didn't get pack cargo there for a second. Thought it glitched. They have. Eh. They're tiny glitches. I don't mind tiny glitches. See, I'm almost out of fuel on that tank. It's kind of wanting to get up a couple of levels before and get some better tires for this before I went over and got a fuel tanker from uh, Island Lake. But I may have to do that sooner. Because I have yet to use a fuel station. So we've got that, and let's go back. And I need to pick it. Whoop! I need to pick up the other trucks. And I've also got to pull the twin steer out of the garage because I don't want to forget it over here. I can't put a crane on anything I have over here right now. Or I would do that. Actually, I can put a crane. Yes, I can. I have to go back to the other map, but I can do it. I believe it is the same crane that I can put on this truck as is on the Fleet Star. So if I take the Fleet Star's crane off, I can put it on this one. That way I can load the uh, Western Star, or the Twin Steer, I mean, with uh, a four wood carry it back. Now I have to make another trip out. Uh, so let's go to global map and head back to Black River real quick to the Fleet Star 
So all these trucks have to come back this way anyway. And I can stop and pick up wood along the way. Huh. Also need service spare parts. I could pick them up over here. Two wood for service spare parts. And that will be everything I need for that mission. I believe. And let's take your crane off. Or, I could just try, uh, let's go ahead and just take the crane off because I want to try that, see if it'll work. Sideboard and uninstall. And global map, back to Smithville. And garage. Yeah, there's a big coal truck outside. Heading down the hill. <laughs> 